We proved that squiggle, where x squiggle y whenever x and y are distinguishable over L, is an equivalence relationship. So it induces a set of equivalence classes that partition our set of strings. Now, every string in our language corresponds to an equivalence class, and every string not in our language will also produce an equivalence class. But many of these will be duplicates. So let's see how we can reduce the number of equivalence classes to just the necessary ones. We can find the distinct equivalence classes as follows. Suppose x and y are strings. We can form two equivalence classes, the set of strings that are indistinguishable from x and the set of strings that are indistinguishable from y. But since they're equivalence classes, there's a useful theorem. If x is in the equivalence class of y, then the equivalence class of x is the equivalence class of y. This is actually a consequence of a much more general relationship and part of the reason why equivalence classes are so useful. For any equivalence classes, they're either identical or they're completely disjoint. So for example, let's go back to the language that recognizes the strings over our symbols 0 and 1 that contain 1, 1. Let's find the equivalence classes using squiggle. Since the string 1, 1 is in L, then one equivalence class is 1, 1. To get another equivalence class, suppose x is in L. Then if y is a string, 1, 1, y is in L, since it contains 1, 1. Meanwhile, x, y is also in L, since x is in L, which means that x must contain 1, 1. This means that x, which is in our language, and 1, 1 are not distinguishable over L, so every element of our language is in the equivalence class generated by 1, 1. In other words, that equivalence class of 1, 1 includes all elements of our language. So the other equivalence classes must come from strings that are not elements of L. So let's start with the simplest. Again, nothing is important. Consider the empty string. The empty string is definitely not in our language because it doesn't contain 1, 1. And we can distinguish it from 1, 1 because if we append it with the empty string, we still have something not in the language, but 1, 1 empty is. So there's an equivalence class generated by the empty string. Now consider the strings of length 1, for example 0. We can distinguish 0 from 1, 1 since any string that does not include 1, 1 will make 0x not in L, while 1, 1x is... So 0 is not in the equivalence class 1, 1, but can we distinguish 0 from the equivalence class generated by the empty string? Suppose x doesn't contain 1, 1. Then lambda x is not in L, but 0x is not in L as well. Similarly, if x does contain 1, 1, then both are in L, so 0 and lambda are not distinguishable with respect to L which means that 0 is also an element of this equivalence class. What about 1? Again, if x does not contain 1, 1, then 1x is in L, while 1, 1x is, so 1 is distinguishable from 1, 1, so it's not in the equivalence class. On the other hand, if I append 1, 1, 1 is in L, Lambda 1 is not, so 1 is distinguishable from lambda, so 1 isn't in that equivalence class either, so it forms a new equivalence class. This last case suggests that we can focus on two types of strings to concatenate with. Strings that don't contain 1, 1, but start with 0, and strings that don't contain 1, 1, but start with 1. The simplest such strings are 0 and 1. So consider any other string that does not contain 1, 1. If the string ends in 0, we'll write it as x0 to indicate that it's some string and 0 is the last symbol. 
then concatenating it with one will distinguish it from one, since string zero one is not in L, but one one is, so string zero is not in our equivalence class of one. But it can't be distinguished from the empty string. If y is in L, then string zero y is still in L, and nothing y is in L. While if z is not in L, then string zero z still not in L, lambda z still not in L. So string ending in zero is an element of the equivalence class generated by the empty string. On the other hand, suppose our string ends in 1. Then concatenating the string with 1 will distinguish it from the empty string, since string 1, 1 is in L, empty 1 is not, so the string ending with 1 is not in the equivalence class of the empty string. But it can't be distinguished from 1, since if we concatenate it with any string that begins with a 1, string 1, 1z is in L, but so is 1, 1z. And if we concatenate it with any string that begins with a 0 that doesn't contain a 1, 1, string 1, 0z, not in L, 1, 0z, not in L. So string ending in 1 is an element of the equivalence class of 1. And so there are only three equivalence classes.